is just the parent world. And I was thinking... Actually, I wanted to try something. So my thought was to make a... Uh, to make a uh, something to play around with the emissions in the cycles render so what we'll do is um, actually yeah we'll do that um, start by edit mode I need to be in. Oh, okay. No, it's good. That is good. <clears throat> so, let's see here. Scale wide. Just a little thicker. button. Nope. Wrong button again. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of that. Okay. That doesn't work. That does. Oh, look at that. Um, so first things, mesh, faces, uh, bevel. Bevel. Let's control B. Very slight bevel. And we want it to, to be not percent, but depth, I think. Mm, no, I don't think it's depth, it's offset or width. So we want it to be a fixed amount on all sides, but that doesn't look like. That looks eh, close enough because what we're going to do now is we're going to <clears throat> joke face scale it we can scale it on the x-axis a little bit just to square it up and what I'll probably want to do here is put it into ortho and snap it to front And look at it cleanly. That looks okay, but I want it to be kind of narrow. I oh, know. See, that's right. That's it. Then extrude that in the negative space. Press back into 3D. Well, perspective. Aha, that is good. Okay. Now, what I want to do now is deselect these. And was it control B? Yes, it was control B. Just a small amount of bevel here. 
That's crazy. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, if only I could get more control out of that, but that's fine. This is good. <clears throat> So I'm going to be doing this just for a little while before I get into The Witness, which uh, was just gifted to me by a friend. He had an extra copy, and he's been wanting me to play, so I will be doing that later. Sandwich. perspective on this look goofy? Nope, that's fine. What's more, that looks good. I'm gonna knife this again. Wait, what was the amount? 47, you know what? We'll do an even 50. Then we'll knife again. Thing, same thing, dead center. Control key puts you in the dead center. Then grab that edge. And then th same thing, bevel. 50. Um, whip. Amount type. Okay, well, that's going to be a problem. Because this one. Okay, well, we're just going to have to eyeball this, but you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect, because this is just me playing around, right? Right. Then we want to go back into face mode, grab that, extrude that out just a bit. Excuse me, extrude this just a bit, scale it a whole bunch more. So the idea here is just building a... Um, plate type thing. <sighs> Alright, then we need to... I don't know. I guess I don't need to go crazy here. I know people are probably cringing about how I do this, but that's how I do it. Access and push it down like that. Then I can just, I don't know, extrude it straight down another bit. Extrude that out. 
Ah, uh, same thing. I want them to be even, so we'll do this. And I know the um, the probably the best way to do this would have been to do like uh, there. There, simple, easy model. Looks like a monitor, doesn't it? That's because that's what it is. It's a monitor. Doesn't it look good? Okay, so we'll start out with uh, straight up. Um, I'm not going to go nuts with the modeling. I'm just going to do. So I got this. Um, <clears throat> so shout outs to Andrew Price, which uh, if you're a Blender person, you know who that is. He runs BlenderGuru.com and he's got a lot, bunch of tutorials. I've been doing a lot of learning from that. Um, and I've learned about dielectric and metal PBRs, which is, I think, a photorealistic, um, PBR. I don't remember what PBR stands for. Sandwich. Also, orange. It's orange. All right, so the idea here is just we're going to have a flat, neutral black material like that. Wait, is that the center? Now, there is a way to center out, apply, transform. Aha, um, origin to geometry, like that. Just so we have it and line that up, actually. So what's a bunch of nonsense here? Hang on to that a second. Well, yeah, it's probably over there. Uh, give me just a second. Sorry about that, folks. I'm Rupert Grip, and these days you'll find me on my new show Snap. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, there's a lot to be said about my gag. And I am prone to forget. They live life on the edge. They hit the wrong van and stumble across. Stupid ads. Sorry about the ads, folks. I am using Spotify, but I'm using free Spotify. Not subscribing to it, but I wanted something you guys could listen to. So I apologize for the advertising, but this is the Twitch channel that's good for people who don't want to spend money. All right. So what we're going to do is, uh, oi, that's kind of distracting. Can I skip it? No, I can't. They could save a bunch of money on car insurance. Oh, really? And that makes them happy? Yes, that makes them very happy. That's Not really. Great. Doesn't make me happy. Well, I'm you know what ha makes me happy? Geico, <laughs> Excuse me. I'm um, not having to listen to horrible ads. So we're just going to throw in. Mm, I think it's a group. Groups. There is group. Yeah. Dielectric here. And then we're going to grab. I think it's Control U. Or is it just U? Nope. Control U. No, that's saving as a startup file. Actually, before I forget, I should probably save this. Save as. I'm um, just going to call this monitor. So, yeah, making a generic monitor here. Um. For fun, and it's saving. <clears throat> mm. 
<laughs> I need a paper towel. Piece of stem. All right. So, first things first, we're just gonna grab a quick texture, something that I had grabbed earlier for fun. And it's gonna be, you know, I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna push this over here because my <sighs> control you. No, I see this right. Alt you. Oh, that's my problem. I'm in. The wrong mode. Now is it control you? No. You. Shift you. Alt you. I thought it was you, but we'll just go with mesh and normal uh, faces. No. UV unwrap. It's just you. Unwrap. Okay, then we can actually add texture. Um, no, no, texture, texture, image texture. That's what I'm looking for. We're gonna drop that in there, and we're gonna grab um just this wooden background I grabbed earlier. Um, then we're just gonna switch this over to the wooden background, and then we're going to hmm, scale it on the x-axis because I don't think that's right. Then scale it all together till it's really a bit smaller. And over here, we're gonna scale the whole thing down more and scale it on the X. Just because I want a surface for it to be on, it doesn't have to be, you know. Okay, I'm seeing a repeat there. So let's. that okay so we'll just want this to be smaller than the texture so there's no repeat but that looks pretty good we scale it on the y-axis just a tiny bit there that should be good now we're gonna grab this monitor push it back to the back of the desk we're gonna make the desk more smaller all right, and then the location's zeroed out. That's in the dead center of the screen. What's the size of this? This is Y, uh, Z, 4.92. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep that, 4.92, Oh yeah, um, you get a straight five? No, oh, you know, I know what the problem is, five inches. That's not going to tweak it too much. Made it just a little bit taller. But now I have 5 inches, so half of 5 inches is 2.5. Which means if I set the Z to 2.5, then then that didn't work. Why didn't it? Oh, I know why. Uh, 2.5 inches, and that still didn't work. Why did that not work? Where is that? Zero, zero, zero. That should be right. Oh, you know what? I know why. I think I know why. Object. Transform. Uh, origin to geometry. It's not actually... That's not the right one. Transform. Um... Nope. I did that, but that didn't work. Origin to center of mass didn't help either. All right, we're just gonna have to eyeball it because the other way is not ha happening. 
best way to do that would be to put it into ortho, straight font on, and just line it up as close as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. After all, this is just an experiment. And you know what? I think I made this backwards. Whoopsie. Just rotate it this way. All right, and then grab, C, no, X, no, Y. I'll get my dimensions straight eventually. Uh, still an ortho, no. Put a boom perspective. Okay. So that looks good so far. And let's see here. What do we got going on? So that is that with the dielectric. Um, gotta kick up the ref reflection on this. Just trying not to be too ridiculous with this, but I don't want it to look, you know, fake. That looks pretty good though. I like that. All right. So let's see here. I'm going to change this over to 3D view, put it on the camera and just put it on to render. So we see what we got so far. So good. So this is just very simple. Next step. Wait. Is going to be uh, face mode. Oh, I just in face mode and I got the face. <sighs> All right. Um so we want a new material, I'm going to assign that, um, and it's going to use, not a diffuse, it's actually going to use um, a diffuse, but the idea is going to be to slap a texture on there. Actually, the way I'm going to do that is going to be kind of cool. I'm going to just... Speaking of which, house, what are we doing? No drop frames. Looks okay. Good. Like this. It's not liking it because it keeps re-rendering the scene as it stands right now. Also, you know what? That's kind of annoying me. Mm, excuse me. No, that's caps lock. That's never going to work. Okay. I think what I want to do here is add add a uh, color and I want to mix RGB. No. Shift add uh, color, brightness contrast, we'll do that. We're gonna kick down the brightness. Not that much though. Okay, I do not like that. That's not working. Maybe gamma. I think there's probably a better way to do this. I'm starting to think. Yeah, I like that though. Nice and dark and rich. Okay. I like that. This is me being picky. Now, okay, so what I wanted to do here is to um, grab a screen grab. And actually, this background is a great color for this. So we're going to do. Just a quick, simple print screen. And then I'm going to bring up Photo Paint. Mm, sandwich. 
Love me some sandwich. Okay. No. New from clipboard. Perfect. And then we're going to export this into new folder. And this is going to be monitor. Scene, place where I can put the assets that I build or play with. And this is just going to be the monitor screen. I've been dying to see how this will work out. I don't know if this will work, but I'm kind of hoping it will. Oh, you know, I forgot to choose the, the, the format. Screen. So, export this. Oh, I did it as a JPEG again. So distracted. Okay, so what was that format that they were using? It wasn't that Targa. Would have been an XPM. Cat's gone into the bathroom again. Um. I can't remember. I cannot remember now. Mm, you know what? Mm, I don't think it really matters too much. I could use the TIFF if I need to. I'll have to look into that down the road. There's a specific format that's good for these because they just nice and clean. But I'm not seeing it here, so I'll just do a TIFF. And we're going to do it as a 32 bit TIFF if it asks, which it doesn't, so that's okay. So, okay. No, but the TIFF will work just fine. So we got our screen. So grab the monitor again, go back to it, grab the face. I have the face selected. I must, because I'm in the diffuse. All right. So, uh, no. You. Uh, hmm. Smart EV project. Okay. Then what I'm going to do here is add. Texture, image texture, pop that in, grab from going up one. Boop. And then we're going to the monitor scene, the screen. And it's rotated the wrong way. But that's okay, because it's actually kind of working. So, now. I need the image viewer again. Switch over to the screen and rotate it. Oh, grab it all first. Rotate it. Control key will snap it. Scale on the Y axis. Scale on the X axis. I wonder if I can um Dude, have you heard this? snap um How about this ah stupid Now here's something I think you're going to love Are you friends with a music fanatic? Follow them on Spotify and you'll never nope. run out of new music. Just search for any of your friends by name, then go like to that. their profile and hit follow. You can browse their playlists or see what they're playing in your activity feed. Going somewhere? How about taking a musical journey too? It's easy. Start with something you like. It could be the last song you played, a new old band you've just discovered, or a genre you love. Then just tap the three dots and hit start radio. We'll do the rest while you sit back and enjoy great song after great song picked just for you. There we go. Want to take a detour? So now, if we preview this again, go back to 3D view on this.
There we go. So I made a... Oh, it's a diffuse. Why is this a diffuse? Wait, 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 wait. This material is not right. Needs to be a. Uh, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I know I did. Sorry about that. It should be the emission. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we are going to try. Oh, it does work. Oh, it works really well. That is awesome. So if we were to kick up the strength to say five. Oh, that's two five. Two. It's two and a half. That is cool. So it is using um, the image texture as a color map and then I can set the brightness and so it's acting like a real monitor screen that emits light rather than you know just being a texture surface. So that's really neat. So Got a little too much stem from that tomato. Yeah. All right, so that's kind of cool. And then what would, we, what would we do to this? Put this back onto that. Bring that down. Oh, too close. And what we could do here, for fun, is uh, add another image texture. That's an image sequence, that's not the right thing. Cancel, cancel. Image texture. And this is going to be... Yeah, I grabbed a few textures here and there. to the UV image editor and then we're gonna go to this I need to go back to oh caps lock again this Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Because it's also also messing with the other UV texture. So, well, let's see what that looks like. Back to 3D view. Oh, it's not too bad. There you go. So that's uh, an interesting little project. Um, just playing around with some ideas. And we can get... Working monitor. Of course, the rest of this object here. I could play around with this a little bit. Because it's um, definitely not complete. 
complete material for the monitor, although it doesn't look too bad. I would probably do. We don't really need this PBR, but we're just going to keep it there anyway. Let's add. Add. Uh, whew, um, another texture, and we'll just add a noise texture to the whole thing. Which means that what we're going to have to do is put this back into this. And then unselect this, and then we will undo that. And then I'll just, uh, I'm gonna have to start I'm using a fourth thing. And we are going to. Also gonna do that to that. Can I still no wrangle? I could remember how to no wrangle. Huh. Oh, there it goes. Accidentally broke it, but that's okay cuz I can just put it back on again There that's interesting. Oh not the reflection though the roughness the roughness That's kind of cool, but um <laughs> That's way too coarse um Maybe I don't want it on displacement at the moment So that's that. That's just a fun little thing I just did for no reason at all. <laughs> and why not? So that will be it for this. I'm going to switch over in just a minute and do some, um, some of the witness next. See how that plays 